Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's see what wants to come out today. I hope you're all well. Okay, let's have a look. Let's just have that. They came out. Okay, I've got a past person that's playing over events round and round and round and round in their head here. Um, they're wanting to know, I think, if you'll take a chance. If you'll take a risk with them. They are being quite strategic at the moment. They're not showing the hands, so I feel they're not coming forward. And in fact, you probably think that this person won't speak to you again or you won't hear from them again. They're doing that on purpose, okay? They're trying to find out whether to approach you or not. They're keeping it cool. They're keeping it under wraps. They're not sure whether to approach you or not. But they are replaying what happened over and over and over again. Okay, I'm going to go into that a bit deeper and see what comes out. Okay, just while I'm shuffling these, though, if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of this video, everything's in the description box in the free relationship report. Okay, so they're not... They're not showing the hand. They're not showing the hand at all. I think for you, you've possibly moved on from this. And I think they feel that. But they're just trying to find out a bit more about what's going on with you at the moment. What you're doing, what you're up to. Would you be willing? You know, Is this over? Is what I'm getting from their, from their energy. Okay. Yeah. Page of Swords, they are watching you. They are watching you. They won't come forward though, they're not going to show the hand as, unless I think they know they can win. I don't think this person will come forward until they know that they will win. There's a competitive element going on here. But they are watching you. They are watching you. Yeah, I did thought this was your energy, actually. I think you're quite closed off to this. I think you think it's the past, okay? I think you think that they were emotionally avoidant, that they didn't share, they would be, you know, possibly talkative one minute and then pulled back the next minute. They could have also been a bit stingy financially. Um, they could have been quite happy spending your money, but not actually putting their own um, hand in their pocket. Okay, but they're replaying these events over in their head. For you also, this person put a lot of burdens on you. So you were the one that had to sort everything out. You kept pushing and pushing and pushing. You forgave and you forgave and you forgave and you forgave. And I think for you, in the end, your energy with all of this just completely completely run out i think this person didn't take some of your shared burden seriously enough they expected you to do a lot of it i'm almost getting that they were quite a light-hearted oh, they didn't take things seriously enough but they were quite happy for you to carry the weight here okay they were very very happy for you to carry the weight they're hoping that you would consider having them back. Um, they want to take a chance, but like I say, they're not moving. They're not showing the hand until they know for definite. Until they absolutely know for definite. What else could you tell me? What's going on in this person's environment, please? Yeah, they still have a lot of affection for you. Okay. They still have affection for you. Why are they not coming forward? Why are they not coming forward though? Why are they being secretive? They're just spying. Why are they being secretive? It's got something to do with some legal issues here. Someone's being secretive because of some legal issues. Okay, they could be being secretive until they know what you're going to do legally or how you're going to approach this. It's definitely got something to do with some legal issues between you. Okay, that's why they're not showing their hand. 
I honestly going to throw that out. What what's coming through to me is that yeah, they want they want to come back in, okay. However, unless they know that you will definitely one hundred and fifty percent take them back, they're not going to do anything. They don't want to lose out. Okay, they're protecting something. They could be protecting their finances. It's almost like they don't want, for some of you, they don't want you to know exactly where they are or what they're doing. If they thought you would have them back, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, I feel they would come back in. But until they have found out this is the case, they're not going to do anything because they're protecting their own interests. They're protecting their own interests. Say one more. Yeah, they want to change. They want. They they want to tell you they've improved. Okay, they want to tell you they've improved. Can you just clarify justice for me, please? Yeah, hot and cold. This person in the past was very hot and cold. I was getting that they were avoidant, but I'm getting with this today that as much as they want to come back, like I say, then they won't do it. I'm almost getting to say they won't do it until they know that you will forgive them and that anything that they owe you because they treated you unfairly, you won't want back. I hope that makes sense. So if they owe you something like money or you've got a hold on a property or something along that string I'm getting today, they won't come back in until they know that you will bury that, that you won't come at them for it, okay? That's, that's the... Um, that's the gist of the energy. Let me just look at the Kipper deck. What else is going on in this person's energy, please? Yeah, they, they just know you won't take any truck off them. I've got two female energies here. I've got a mother energy. Okay, I've got a mother energy. And then if you are female, I've got your energy in here as well. There's a bit of a clash between a mother energy or a sister or a sister-in-law or, or, or somebody of that ilk. It's not third party relationship and you here. Okay. I think you want some justice done. It's got a lot to do with this person, your past person. I feel one of, another one of the reasons is that if your past person comes back to you then this mature female this older female this mother figure will have nothing else to do with them they're covering the bases you know they're covering the bases that's what they're doing that's why they're just watching you they're not willing to take a chance on coming back until they know you will drop something Okay, there was a lot of gossip in this. Someone was very childish. There was a lot of things that were said and done that shouldn't have been. And by that I mean they should have been kept private between the two of you. Okay? What you were saying to your person was in confidence. Let's have one more, please. Yeah. This mature person... It's a marriage card, so it was a long-term commitment you were in. Not necessarily married, but I would say living together, committed. This mature person or this older person or, I say mother, sister, came between you. Okay, came between you. Let's just have one more, please. Yeah, so what ended it. I think your person knows that you know. Things have come to light since you separated. You found out a lot more than you did. Okay, they're not happy where they are. They're not happy, but they are not going to do anything or take a chance until they know that you will drop a case you have against them or you will just let them come back in. Like I said, without seeking justice on something, you'll know where this is in your story. 
you will know where this is in your story. Okay, let's just see what they what they would say to you. Let's just see what they would like to say. You and I were too young. So if you met this person when you were younger, they would like to say that they didn't have the maturity for this. They wish they could take back their words. And they bury themselves in work to forget you. Okay, I'm going to clarify those. Okay, let's just have three more cards. What are their thoughts and feelings, please, as of today? Thoughts and feelings as of today. Yeah, they would like to come back in. They could be a fire sign. Clarifying that you and I were too young, quite interesting. <coughs> Excuse me, the Knight of Wands. <coughs> this person was reckless, they were a player. You know, even if they weren't in third party relationships, they could have been, but they were just just like a firecracker. You never knew where you were with them. Very charming, good fun. You could have travelled, party, party, party. But the flip side of that is they weren't reliable. You know, they were in, they were out, they were here, they were everywhere. They're saying that that energy that they had at the time or if they kept leaving you for somebody else or coming back in that they're blaming it on their youth that they weren't mature enough so i'm just giving you a heads up like what this energy is showing uh why do they want to take their words back please why do they want to take their words back yeah they want to come in two nights night of cups they want to apologize they do want to apologize here but like I say, they're not going to... It's a really double-edged energy here. I'm not getting particularly toxicity. And I know if you watch my readings, I'll just say is it as I see it. I'm not getting a toxic energy, but I am getting them missing you, wanting to be with you, but not absolutely doing anything about it because they, they're still clinging on to something they're not going to let go of. They're not going to let go until they know that you will accept their apology. Because in the past, their energy is someone who who was a bit of a, a bit of a player, really. And they could have sort of, yeah, love bombed you a bit. You know, you could have thought that they were just amazing. You know, meeting all of your needs. But they do want to apologise. They do want to apologise. Why are they burying themselves in work? Because that's actually clarifying that card. I think they're burying themselves in their work because they realise that you were actually the best things, the best thing they've ever had. Okay, you were there. Now they've realised that you were a dream come true. You were really, really good at looking after them. Um, you put them first a lot, you know, you're always kind and, you know, you, you just sort of, you were their dream come true. You kept them happy. Sometimes at your own behest, I will say. I think at times with this person, not toxic, but I think it, they did like to have a lot of their own way. And as long as they were emotionally happy, then everyone was happy, okay? They can be a little bit selfish emotionally. They don't always show you their true feelings. They keep a few things under wraps. But they're playing a bit of a game here. Not that they don't miss you. But they want to know that you're not going to take something back or do something. Just have three more, please. Yeah. It's interesting, that card there. I definitely, because that's clarifying on these lines here, definitely female, older female, who could have even smothered your person. You know, this older female is very clingy. I think at times your person is a bit tied to the apron strings of someone. Yeah. Your person wants to come forward. Like I said, they want to take back the words, they want to apologise, but the two of swords has come out in the way these cards have been clarified today. They know the elephant in the room needs to be addressed, okay? They're trying to keep the peace where they are. They're not sure what to say to you. 
or how to bring about a reconciliation at the moment. I think they're just very, very much stuck in their head. Very, very much stuck in their head. Let's just have one more, please. They are going to come forward eventually, though. In the outcome, I have got the Ace of Swords. There will be some communication. It'll be sudden. It'll be quick. It could be a bit hot and cold. That can be an intense communication. It could even, for some of you, be, be the beginning of some drama again with this person. That could be the fact that you're not expecting this to happen. It's a quick energy, that card. And that could cause drama on, on a few levels for you. On a few levels for you. Let me just get another deck out. Let me just see what they're telling other people as opposed to what they really feel about you. That always gives a good indication what's going on. Right, they're telling other people that they're comfortable where they are, especially if they're in a family or they've gone back with family members or they're close to the family or they've got one of those, like as we say in the UK, a clicky family. Um, that just means that like everyone's really kind of like, really sort of, you know, like that. So that's what they're telling people that they're comfortable, they're okay, they're happy. I think they're feeling very trapped, very frustrated, they've got a lot of energy. I'm almost getting to say to you that they're like a firework in a box at the moment, okay? They've got nowhere for all of this energy, they've got nowhere. That's one of the reasons they're working. What do they really feel, please? What do they really feel? Ace of Swords again. Double cards, yeah. They want to come through. They feel it's an intense, you had an intense connection. When you met, it could have been very sudden. Okay? It could have been a hot, hot and cold. You could have really hated this person to start with. And then you fell in love with them. It's that kind of relationship. It wasn't a slow burner. I'm not getting a slow burner here. As at the beginning, I'm getting a bump. But yeah. They're telling people they're comfortable, but they're not. They want to cut to the chase. They, like I say, it will be very, very sudden. It's like a lightning bolt. Okay. It'll be like a lightning bolt. Let's just see what advice we've got for you with this. Because sat in the middle, like I said earlier, is this justice? There's something they want you to drop. Okay, and they want to know that you'll drop it before they come back. I can say whether you've got, I don't know, a legal case against them or you know something about them, but there's something they need to know that you'll drop before they'll make a move. But saying that, as these cards have been coming out and their energy, I think they will just go like that and they'll just come in anyway. You know, one night they might have one too many beers or something. You know, that kind of energy. And you just think, oh, stuff it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I think that's what they'll do. Advice, please. Advice. Yeah, got a ten of swords. going to be up to you in the end I think what I'm getting from this is you'll have the final decision because for some of you the ten of swords you were really stabbed in the back you know you were left just you know they just left you in a mess really with the ten of swords they stabbed you in the back they could have just legged it stripped you bare stripped your assets bare it's that kind of energy but it is clarified with a card that's saying that there is still at the bottom of it all, I think for some of you, you're moving on from the pain here. And that for some of you, you will, even if not reconcile with this person, you would be willing to have a conversation with them as friends, okay? But not straight away. I'm getting not straight away, you wouldn't. You as well would also want to know if it was worth the risk on your part whether to speak 
to this person and it all signifies it is specific to days so this might not be reading but it all signifies in something that they don't want you to do and they are almost protected in, a, in an environment at the moment that they are comfortable um, I've got a very strong mother figure here okay but they know that if they come back to you that that comfort won't be there anymore they won't be able to go back they'll have burnt the bridges if they reconcile with you okay so that's why they're not going to do it at the moment but with the two ace of swords in here I do see it happening I think in the end their impulsiveness will just get the better of them okay I think they're only going to watch for so long I haven't got a timing but I think they're only going to watch yeah they, they are only going to watch you for so long let's just see what these are normal ones say before we wrap this up I just want I'm just going into that what you know the fact that they they won't come in until they know for definite which is always a bit of a say not toxic but mm, yeah, a little bit of a worry yeah look they're definitely coming in messenger it's going to be quick you were very loyal to this person you were a very good friend and i do think for some of you not all of you you'll know if it's you that whatever happened in the past even if you don't want to reconcile you would hear what they got to say i'm getting ah right this person's protecting their reputation it's got something to do with their reputation if they're quite well known um i mean it could be famous but if they're not famous, if they're just well known in their community or they've got a position that's quite, yeah, well known, that's what they're trying to protect. Okay, it's almost like they left a mess behind when they left. But because of the four walls they've put around themselves in the environment they've gone to, it's almost like they've pretended that didn't happen. Okay. So they've gone to this environment they're in, they're like in these four walls and they're pretending the mess and all the drama that they left you with didn't happen. But they know that if they want to reconcile with you that that is still there, that that is still there I'm, I'm getting to say and they don't want, they don't want their reputation shattered. They don't want their reputation shattered and they don't they don't want to come back until they know 100% because they'll burn their bridges. Okay, so that's why they've, they've just been watching you for now. But it's definitely to do with their um, reputation. They need to know that you will be clear-cut about their friendship, okay? So it is really for you. You will you will have the decision here. You will make the decision, okay, whatever to do with this. But they are protecting themselves at the moment. So, oh, that was a bit of a mixed up energy. I do hope that makes sense to someone today. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm sending you loads and loads of love. Take good care of yourselves. I do read all your comments. I'm sending you so much love and energy because I know some of you are going through a really tough time and you really have been, you know, completely messed around. So I'm sending you love. Take good care of yourselves. Personal readings. Click on the title of the video. It's in the description and the free relationship report. Watch what you're doing and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.